Well, I think it's made me a more considered person in, in terms of how I deal with my, my team and my, my colleagues within you know, the, the larger pensions marketing team. It's made me think a lot more about what people are saying and, and also to be more considered in, in what I say. It's made a significant amount of, of difference to me. It's Personally, it's allowed me to up my game and to reduce reliance of other people on, on myself as an expert um, so it's that recognition that other people do have the knowledge and that they can find their own solutions that reduces the reliance on me but ab- enables me to operate in a more effective way. It encourages people to take ownership for their own development. Um, it encourages people to take a bit more initiative. Um, I think the questioning is very useful, not just in a line management relationship, but I've really been trying to focus on using open questions in meetings with people um, and I think it's quite good for facilitating discussion and maybe encouraging people to think differently which can only be a good thing. And it, it, it is the backbone I believe of performance discussions and for some people naturally do not find these conversations easy so it really does help those people who before w- would shy away and the, the conversations wouldn't happen and I think more and more in today's world, these conversations have to happen, both to nurture talent, but, but to also you know, help people to improve or to identify where they need to be developing themselves. I think it's good from a, a personal development point of view as well for the team because it encourages people to take more ownership for their own development. I think it's vital. I mean, it, it's vital if you want a happy and inspired and motivated team. If, if you don't have coaching, I can't really see how you can have a team that, that wants to progress and wants to get on and wants to make that real contribution to, to the work that we all do. I don't see coaching as a separate thing to performance management. I think it's very much one of the tools that you can use, and it is one of the main tools that you can use to be effective as a performance manager. I think they appreciate the change in my behaviour. Um, it, it's not just at one-to-ones, but yeah, someone comes up to me with a question. <laughs> I just don't instantly spurt back a, an answer, but yeah, we think about the question and the implications of the question and, and what we can do and what they can do. So it's, it's not all being directed by, by me, but there's contributions from everyone in the team. I think the major change to the team has been in the response coaching that I try and use. So whereas in the past they would come to me with a problem and I'd probably try and jump to an answer for them, I'm now spending time trying to unpack the issue and, and trying to work them through the solution. Even as we speak now, four, four of uh, members of my team are, are away on uh, the coaching course, uh, the senior members of the team, and uh, I think they'll be taking an awful lot from it. They've been very keen to do it, very nervous about doing it, but uh, uh, they, they see the benefits, they've read the literature, they want to do it, and, uh, and they can see the benefits in helping us to get past all the subjectivity and, and uh, get behind the, the objectives that we collectively have. coaching support that has been provided in-house has been been particularly useful in that the coaches were there in a challenging, supportive coaching way to help us uh, embed the coaching framework that we'd learned the theory of on the course. I think it was, it was very useful in terms of the, the exercises that we had over the, the two days and be able to, to, to work with other people that were in a very similar position to, to you in terms of having a team to, to manage and the, the, the daily trials and tribulations that, that come with managing that team. Just getting that insight that you weren't the only one in the world that was, was in that position. It was a great experience. And, it, uh, and, and I think you, you, you know a course has been good when you want to go back and apply, when, uh, rather than you're, uh, you're considering it every now and again. Uh, you, you really want to live what you were doing there. And that's certainly been the case uh, for myself and, and colleagues who went on that.